performing arts really involves anything that uh, encompasses uh, live presentation for an audience. Uh, for instance, theater or music or dance. I think one of the main reasons students come to the performing arts is because it gives them a chance to express themselves. They can learn a lot about who they are. The American University of Sharjah has students from over 80 different nations represented here. And I think that's reflected in the performing arts program. We get students from every cultural background and they mix together and that's one of the ex most exciting parts about this program is that they come together and they bring all that cultural background with them and it enhances the work that they're doing as they learn from each other. In the theater component, you, students can study for the theater minor, which involves studying acting classes, design classes, uh, dance classes, and they can pick and choose to develop their own program. We spend about two months working on a play, so we'll start with the, uh, the auditions and the casting. We get the cast together, we develop a technical team led by a faculty member, develop a costume team also led by a faculty member, and Every couple of weeks we come back together to discuss the project, see where it's going, and we have a target date two months down the road for the opening of the show. But the goal of the director, my goal, is to make sure that those actors and technicians are on target and ready to go when the show opens. So they get this really, uh, this arc to the experience that leads them to opening night and, and this valuable experience of producing a, a piece of theater. Some of the specific components of the program in theater would involve costume design. Costume design one is, of course, uh, elements of theatrical design in which they learn lighting and scenic design. Students can also study uh, acting classes. They have acting one, and then they can take voice and movement, and at the advanced stage, acting styles for the stage. The students that come into the acting classes begin usually with little to no experience whatsoever. And uh, I've had several students who have moved on to actually pursue uh, uh, master's degrees in the field of acting. So you can build with a minor into the next step, which is, which is quite exciting. In the costume design course specifically, students will learn how to actually design pieces based on historical models. So they might research the, the Roman Empire and how the clothing might have looked at that time, and then have to actually execute building, constructing one of those pieces that might be used on stage and then they also develop a portfolio of drawings. And we get students in the class who've never drawn before. And suddenly by the end of the semester, they're drawing uh, some quite stunning drawings of period costumes. Uh, we rely very heavily on the students coming in and actually helping the faculty member in assembling the set. Uh, they learn how to use the tools, how to use the power saws, how to paint the set, how to, how to measure it properly, make sure it's ready for actors when they actually take the stage. Uh, so they get the hands-on experience that, that they need when they go out into the professional world. Once they've got a couple of shows under their belt, once they've developed some basic skills, they actually start to really excel and find, find their legs as theater performers or technicians. Dance is actually a component of theater, so students that are studying theater learn dance styles for the stage that help them uh, relax their body more and become more physically engaged as an actor. I teach dance styles for the stage and we're very excited and honored about this class because it's the only accredited dance class in the UAE. In dance class, we look at many different styles of dance for the stage. We always start with hip-hop and African, um, then we also focus on dubka, but different styles of dubka, Palestinian, Lebanese, Jordanian, Iraqi, to make sure that everyone is happy. In music, students can study choir, voice, piano and Arabic musical instruments, and they can take one-on-one -on -one lessons with the faculty member. For U.S. Choir, it's uh, really a coming together of students from across the campus. I've got all kinds of majors from engineering and architecture to English and international studies. And these students come together three hours a week and uh, learn proper functions of singing and just have the, have the experience of coming together for the sake of music and making beautiful music. I also teach uh, Voice Studio, which is a private one-on-one -on -one lessons with students. And in those lessons, we're working on vocal technique as well as building repertoire for the students. It's a really great program, the Alfred program, and we start by learning the notes first. A little bit of music theory comes along with it. Posture, correct technique, and we put that all to the instrument. And uh, eventually, I mean, they're learning songs within the first two, three weeks. Um, the training that they receive here in the studio is basically piano training, so we learn a lot of technique, 
how to use the proper fingering, um, we talk about dynamics, we talk about coloring a piece of music, we also talk about the composers, why and when they were writing their pieces. When you know all the background details to a piece, it often enables you to enhance your, the quality of the music that you're playing as well. I think the music minor here is a, a wonderful opportunity for students to come and study subjects that they might not elsewhere in the country be able to take. Uh, there are a lot of great courses being offered in the minor, uh, anything from history to theory to practical, such as learning instruments. I think that our minors also show that they are creative thinkers. It helps to expand that part of their repertoire when it comes to the business profession or the arch or architecture or engineering. Um, it takes creative people to do those things. They just don't always think of themselves as creative people. The students that have discovered our program are so fulfilled. Uh, their lives are changed and transformed by taking a choir class or a history class or a piano class and um, they become hungry for the art. Um, it builds self-esteem, it builds confidence, because often you have to get up in front of people to perform, whether it's a small piano solo or a vocal solo or something in a group like, say, choir. You know, with my choir students, the trust that they gain in each other, the friendships that they uh, walk away with, after just one semester of being in the course with someone. It's just a different experience than what you have in other classes on campus. Um, I also want my students to walk away with a confidence. Uh, look what I did, you know, look what we did. I feel fantastic about being able to play an instrument and also use that instrument for something else. Some students have said it's helped them prepare for their voice studies, uh, it's helped them prepare for choir, because obviously you're putting those notes from the piano to the sheet to the voice, uh, it's all becoming familiar. The most rewarding part of that for me is the joy and the smiles that they have on their faces. Um, the energy that comes out of them being on stage and performing for their families and performing for their peers and their professors on campus. Um, there's an excitement that happens. Uh, like nothing else that you ever experience. I really would encourage students to who haven't thought of um, taking up an instrument before to look into it and come see what we have to offer. And so it's a wonderful program and we have some wonderful instructors here and uh, it's just a wonderful feeling all around, yeah. One of the things I love about the theater minor and why I think it's really important um, is that in any career you're going to need to improvise. Improv skills are a life skill. Um, every business school also requires their students uh, to do some kind of acting. Um, it helps with, with sales, their sales skills. Um, there's also role playing to help people with customer service. So having these theatrical skills that you learn from a theater minor, no matter what walk of life you end up, whichever road you end up going down, it will enhance that. It will help with public speaking tremendously. It will also help with confidence, self-esteem, leadership. The list goes on and on. For the current students, our goal really is focusing on developing communication skills, time management skills, and skills that they can use in their uh, chosen career paths, whether it's uh, students that are going into business, students going into mass comm or architecture. The skills they learn in theater will, will assist them in other walks of life. Uh, though we have some students who have pursued uh, theater as a career. And now, especially in the UAE, the entertainment and media industry is really growing. So they need a lot of well-educated um, young people who know the region to stand up and say, we don't need to keep importing talent. We don't need to keep importing, you know, teachers and, and media personalities. You know what? We've been trained and we're homegrown and we can do it ourselves. We've assembled a pretty amazing group of faculty members here. We're small. We have six faculty members in theater, three in theater, three in music. But they come from a wide variety of professional uh, and academic backgrounds. Uh, they offer the students uh, top-notch training that they would find at any other university in the world. So it's really exciting that uh, I look at the theater minor and I, I look at my colleagues and I think to myself, you know, this is a really talented group of people with years of experience and, and I'm really happy that we can offer this platform for, for these students. They develop friendships, they develop camaraderie, and I think that 
they've developed this family atmosphere in the performing arts building that they might not find in other places in their, their regular academic studies. So there is something special about the performing arts environment.